Hello, welcome to Go For The Word by Ambrose King Sr. Today we are going to be looking at how the believer is justified by the blood that Jesus shed on the cross. You see, the problem is sin. Sin is the problem. Sin makes you go to hell. Sin makes you to miss God. Sin is the problem. But when Jesus came, when he shed his blood on the cross, he made provision for sin issue and solved the sin issue for the believer. I just want us to look into the scriptures to see how the blood of Jesus freely justified the believer, those who believe in Jesus. According to the word of God in Romans chapter 3, I'm going to read verse 23 to 26. Romans chapter 3, verse 23 to 26. It says, For all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God, being justified freely by his grace through the redemption that is in Christ Jesus, whom God set forth as propitiation by his blood through faith to demonstrate his righteousness. Because in his forbearance, God had passed over the sins that were previously committed to demonstrate at the present time his righteousness that he might be just and justify of one who has faith in Jesus. This is part part. We look at this verse, verse 23, it says, For all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. Unfortunately, this is where a lot of people stop. Most uh, false preachers, actually, most people just stop in this very first part of the verse. It says, For all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. When you look at it, there's a comma after that. That is not the end of the statement. So if you stop at this very verse, then you'll be missing out on the benefits that Jesus brought to us, the believers. Look at verse 24. It says, being justified freely by his grace. Glory to God. We are justified freely. Justification means as if you didn't sin. See, being justified freely by his grace through the redemption that is in, Jesus, in Christ Jesus. So the redemption that is in Christ Jesus is the solution to the sin problem. When you look at verse 25, it says, whom God set forth as propitiation by his blood through faith. It is God's, all of God's will. God did it. God planned it, and he did it for the believers. And it's through his blood, through the blood of Jesus, and it's true faith, true faith. Oh, it's said to demonstrate his righteousness. So God is demonstrating his righteousness to the believers. Now, we look at verse uh, 26. It's said to demonstrate at the present time his righteousness, that he might be just and the justifier of the one who has faith in Jesus Christ. Wow, 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 wow. That's why you need to study the word of God for yourself. Your faith has to be in Jesus Christ. Your faith doesn't have to be in yourself. It doesn't have to be on your intelligence. It doesn't have to be on the amount of money that you have or your credentials. It doesn't have to be on your bishop, your pastor, your church. It has to be in Jesus Christ. And Jesus can be found through the word. So justification for the believer is by faith. Based on what Jesus did on the cross, the blood that he shed on the cross. I put a few things here together I want to share with you. You see, when you look at verse 23 of Romans chapter 3, you keep hearing people say, all have sinned and fortunate of glory of God. All have sinned and fortunate of glory of God. So they keep giving you sin consciousness message to make you look like you have no hope. No, there's hope for the believers. Oh, glory to God. So if you stop at verse 23, then you are going to struggle with your Christian life. People sin every day. People make mistakes. But Jesus has made solution for it through the blood that he shed on the cross. It was the blood that Jesus shed on the cross that makes the believer justified. And you receive this justification by faith. So verse 24 is the answer to the problems in verse 23. He said, being justified freely by his grace, so there's grace in Jesus. And it said through the redemption that is in Christ Jesus. That's why I love Jesus. It's only in Christ Jesus that we have redemption. Oh, glory to God. The redemption that is in Christ Jesus makes you stand out as a master over circumstances. The redemption that is in Christ Jesus make you God's, make, you, make you the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. My God. So it is through the blood and it must be received by faith, by believing the word and declaring it, regardless of how you feel, regardless of what anybody calls you, regardless of your mistakes, it's justification is by faith, 
only in Christ Jesus. So you must receive by faith and you are justified when you have faith only in Jesus, not in yourself, not in your capabilities, not in what you do, but only in what Jesus did on the cross when he shed his blood on the cross. Glory to God. As I begin to round up, look at Romans chapter 5, verse 1. It says, therefore, being justified by faith. Here you go again. Justification is the key. It is the justification by faith that brings the solution to the penalty of sin. He said, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. I don't know about you. I have peace with God. You ought to declare boldly that you have peace with God. Glory to God. Verse 2, by whom also we have access by faith into this grace wherein we stand and rejoice in hope of the glory of God. We have access by faith to all these beauties. We have glory by faith to all these great benefits that God has brought to us through our Lord Jesus Christ. My question to you today, are you born again? Are you saved? Do you believe on Jesus? It's not about religion. It's about your destiny. If you don't believe in Jesus, if you don't believe that the blood that Jesus shed on the cross was in, is enough to justify you from the penalty of sin, and you want to put it on your own efforts or what you do, then you are going to miss out. I'm inviting you today, if you don't know Jesus, come to Jesus today. All you need to do is believe that Jesus died for it, all of your sins, past, present, and future. You know, it, it's what the Bible says. Just believe that it's true. Accept it. And boldly declare that Jesus is the Lord of your life. All you need to do is repent of your sins or your mistakes. And come to Jesus and say to him that Jesus, I believe that you died for all of my sins. You were buried. You raised yourself from the dead. Now you are in heaven. I put my faith alone on what you did on the cross. The blood that you shed on the cross. So Jesus, you are the Lord of my life. You are my personal savior. If you have made that bold declaration by faith and you believe that what you say is true, salvation is yours. You can enjoy the beauty of justification by faith through the blood that Jesus shed on the cross. I trust that this go for the word by Ambrose has been a blessing to you. I'll see you all again on another video. Until then, keep living by faith only in Jesus Christ. Bye for now.